Here we have 11.5, solving a multi-step equation involving natural logarithms. So really nothing is changing from the previous regular logarithms. Um, we're still gonna apply this rule, which can only be applied, not rule, but definition, can only be applied if the logarithm part is by itself. Um, now for ln, remember that the base is e. So when you switch over the form, the base needs to be e and then equal to the argument, okay? So it is the same formula, it's just you're specifically using a special case when it's base e. Now before we can apply that though in this problem, I do have to get rid of the six, so I'm gonna minus six on both sides. I have negative four ln of x equal to negative one, and then I have to divide by the coefficient so that I can get the ln of x completely by itself and I get positive one fourth. And then I can use that definition to switch the form over. So it'd be e raised to this exponent equal to the argument. And I already have x all by itself, so I literally just need to plug into the calculator e to the one fourth. And chopstick, okay. Um, so we get in, depending on the problem, it could want the exact answer. If it wants the exact answer, then you leave it in that form. But if it asks you for, um, an, like, tells you to round to a certain decimal place, then it wants the um, decimal value. And so that would be two, 1.284, okay? So pay special attention to whether they say round to such and such place. If they do not say the words round to, then you need to be giving them the exact answer, okay? Now, let's see the next problem. So here I only need to get rid of the three. So I'll divide by three on both sides. And then when I switch the forms over, this becomes e raised to the fourth power equal to the argument. I do have to add six on both sides. So I get e raised to the fourth power plus six. Um, again, this is the exact answer, but if they ask you for the decimal, um, it would be 60.598, okay? So pay attention to whether they say round to this or whether they say type an exact answer, those kinds of things. Now here we have a problem because I can only use this rule if I have just one logarithm equal to a number. And over here, I don't have just one logarithm equal to two. So I have to combine these using our properties so that it does say ln of just one argument equal to two. And so the property I'm gonna use is when it's addition, you take one argument and multiply it by the other argument. So then now when I switch the forms over, this becomes e raised to the two exponent equal to this argument. And then I would divide by five. So I get e squared divided by five equal to x minus three. And then I would add three to both sides. So I get e squared divided by five plus three equal to x. So again, this is my exact answer, but if they want the decimal, type it in your calculator and I get um, 4.478 because this eight will change that seven. And that's pretty much it. So you have examples of when there's just a coefficient in front, when there's a coefficient and an extra term, or when you have two LNs and you have to combine them into one. Now, if that were a minus, I would have put five over X minus three, just FYI.